Good day, my beautiful people. Today we'll be looking at something else. We'll be looking at the founders of the community known as Bonnie. Uh, Bonnie, for those who have not been following, is a community found in River State. It's, it lies more or less along the Atlantic Ocean. This is an Igbo community that has unfortunately been you know, taken over or hijacked by some other ethnic groups in the south south over there and uh, this is a situation where our people as Igbo people have been dehumanized they've been made to change their names a foreign language has been imposed on them their histories have been distorted have been changed and all that but right now the Igbo people are resurgent many of us are beginning to realize the fact that look we need to start to speak up about some of these things that are happening the main problem we have is ignorance. A lot of us don't even know what is happening. So that is where people like myself try to, you know, plug that gap. Let's, let's, let's educate people, let's sensitize people on what is going on in some of these communities. These are communities that you find more or less at the furthest point. That is at the borders or at the furthest point from, you know, the center of Ibo land. And so what goes on there most of the time, those of us in the hinterland don't know. So this is where we discuss about such things so that you know our people can know what is going on. So as we were saying, this is the people that have had their histories distorted. Now, in the case of Bonnie, you have a situation where the young people will boldly come out and tell you that they are the ones who, you know, are the owners of Bonnie, so to say. They are the founders, they are this, they are that. Then they will tell you that the Igbo people you found in Bonnie because Igbo people make up more or less maybe 80% or 90% of Bonnie. So they will tell you that um, the Igbo people there <laughs> were brought there by slave trade, that Igbo people are not indigenous to that place. And unfortunately, our some of our people actually came into this. Some of our people believe that nonsense. You can imagine saying that the Igbo people of Bonnie came in through slave trade. That is a lie. That is um, historical revisionism. That is distortion. Now, we are going to prove that the Igbo people of Bani, the Obani people, did not come in through slave trade. They are actually the founders of the island. And we can prove this by looking at the earliest history of these people. When you go into the earliest history of the Obani people, you cross-check the name of their first kings, the people who ruled them. At the start of the Boni history, they had the opera system. You know, as you know, a lot of Igbo communities in the earliest time, they just use the opera system. That is, the oldest man is more or less the person we will call the ruler of the community. You know, until some Igbo communities started to establish kings, actual kings. Not many Igbo communities, but some of them anyway. So, by looking into the history of Boni, the earliest kings, we can determine truly who were the people who founded Bonnie because the job people have made a very strange claim and uh, I will let you know that that claim only came about after the civil war such thing did not did not exist before the civil war after the civil war you know the job people felt they were triumphant and so they went to Bonnie and changed the history and nobody could tackle them because the evil people were still trying to you know recover from the civil war and so looking at the earliest kings of the Obani people. Number one, if you can see the list that uh, projected on the screen, you see at the number one, you have a name that looks like Alagbariye or Alagbariya or whatever they wrote there. <laughs> I will let you know that that name, that number one name, has suffered what you call revisionism. It has been distorted. In fact, most of the names, there, if you look at it closely, some of those names have been distorted. You can't exactly tell what was written there. Because I will let you know that that Alagbari is non-existent in Bonnie. That name is non-existent. So what you have is a situation where they took an original name and distorted it. That number one you are seeing, the, the, the name actually is Agbara. Agbara is that name, Agbara. Then they put Allah Agbara. And still put ye at the end. That's a lot there. His chief is a is, is an ijo title for like chief, so to say. But then you begin to imagine how in a, 
an Igbo chief or an Igbo king or an Igbo founder have an Ijo title. That will tell you that those things were added later. It was not there at the beginning. You know, it was not there at the beginning. So his name is Agbara. Agbara, that's number one you're seeing there. The number two you see there, that thing is, you can't even pronounce it. It doesn't even look like something that a human being will write. That is when people are trying to change history. That's what they do to names. They change it such that it's not easy to recognize. But those of us who know what is happening, we can easily know what is going on there. That number two, the name is a, it's a purely Igbo name. It is Okpara Ndioli. Okpara Ndioli. They compress the name and then just change the spellings. How can you write O P K? Just writing rubbish there. You know? The name is Okpara Ndioli. All these things I'm telling you, if you meet a bunny person that is informed, because a lot of them have been brainwashed, sorry to say. If you meet some of the few ones who are um who are enlightened they will tell you that these names truly they know about this they will tell you about this operant duel they will tell you where he died they will tell you the particular point in history in bunny history when he died and all that you know and so uh you go to number three you have another instance where there's a bit of distortion in that name that name you are seeing the opua ama just twisting an evil name the name is ama koba Ama Koba is a very, very, is a, is a very nice name. Ama Koba. That is brotherliness is greater than wealth. That is what it, it actually signifies. You can see that it's a very nice name. That was the third name. That was the earliest people. These are the founders, actually. I'm calling out the founders. These first four names are the founders of Bonnie. The first four names on that list are the founders of Bonnie. We have called three names now. Agbara. Obarandioli and Amakoba. Number four, you see there, then they spell that one correctly. Opara Azimini. Opara, that name is Azimini. Azumini. Azumili. You know, in Boni, in their dialect, in the Obani dialect, it's called Mini. Mini. Opara Azumini. Then number five, you have Azumini. Number six, you have Edimini. Number seven, we have Kamalo. Most of us are very familiar with that name, Kamalo. He's a very hardcore Igbo name. Kamalo. Kamalo also. Uh-huh. Number eight, you have Diaba. Diaba. Number nine, you have Amakiri. Or Amakiri. Amakiri. Number ten, that name, you see there, Abinya. Abinya. It's a compressed name. It's a compressed name. That name is Apa Inyinya. Apa Inyinya. That's what they compress as Apinya. Apinya. Uh, in Igbo history or in Igbo culture, you have a lot of Inyinya names. And that Inyinya name is always, um, is mostly regarded or is mostly connected to the names of chiefs. Inyinya. Inyinya. You have Ubu Inyinya. You have Umu Inyinya. You have Apinya. All these Ninja names are names of big people. Why? Because in the olden days, horses were hard to come by in Nimbo land. Horse was a very, you say, it's a, it's a, it was an animal that had a lot of prestige. So if you have, if you have somebody that have a horse, that person was well respected. And you can see in this particular case, it is the name of a king. It might not have been his actual name, but a title. But that is the title he went by. Apinya, Apinya, that is his name. This ten. Names are all Igbo people. These are the earliest kings of the Obani people. These are the earliest kings of the Obani people. Now I want to ask, for the Igbo people that said they are the ones who founded the island, where is the Igbo name in the list of the earlier kings? There is no Igbo name here. There is no Igbo name here. Where are the Igbo names? Look at all of them. They all have Igbo names. Abara, Ndiole, Amakoba, Azimini, Kamalo. You can imagine one of the kings went by Kamalo. For those of us who know what that name signifies, it's not a small name. Kamalo. And so you have a situation where you are now looking for the names of the so-called Ijo people who founded the island. And you can't, you can't get it. The, all the earliest kings were Igbo people. And it's unfortunate that the Ijo people betrayed the Obani people in Boni because 
the Obani people actually took them as brothers until the civil war. Then they just turned against them and hijacked the island. But I can't say it today because they have lost control of the island. They are no longer in charge. They are being pushed out and we will push them out because they have betrayed the Obani people and betrayed the Igbo people who believed in them as brothers. And so this is how we will continue to enlighten our people to know what is going on at this community is far away from the center so you can know what you know our brothers are having to pass through you know but the urban people are people who are being liberated they are more or less liberated because you know to be honest you just people can't hold them down the urban people outnumber them almost 10 to 1 you know so we'll just continue to do this all right thank you my people